we were trained that dogs eat dog food. But the reality is dogs should eat, like every other animal in the world, regular food. Hi, my name is Charlie Guns. I am the managing partner here at Rick's Dog Deli. I founded the company in 2011 is when we started. Concept was actually developed a few years back. When we first conceptualized Rick's Dog Deli, we were living in Hawaii and there was a worldwide recall of pet food that had been manufactured in China, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of dogs worldwide. We were terrified. What are we feeding our dogs? Where is it coming from? And we had uh, two dogs and the one dog was the, how do you say, the million dollar dog. Every vet in town and all they wanted to do was antibiotics and steroids, which I knew that that, that wasn't the answer. So we started researching the origins of the kibble that we were feeding our animals. And, and both of our dogs had health issues at the time. And the more we researched how the kibble was made, what the ingredients were, the more horrified and scared we were about how we were impacting the health of our animals. So the more and more research we, we did, the more we realized that we were just typical of our own generation, which was we were trained that dogs eat dog food. But the reality is dogs should eat, like every other animal in the world, regular food. So we started cooking for our own dogs. And as soon as we did that, within several weeks of cooking just basic chicken and vegetables for our dogs, we saw their skin heal, the respiratory problems go away, the eyes clear up, the energy levels increase. And we were shocked that we were having such an impact on our dog's health by cooking food for them. Everybody saw the changes in our dogs and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm making them chicken and rice and eggs and whatever. And they're like, well, it's ridiculous on how good your your Aussie looks. We had an Aussie Shepherd and he was kind of like getting bald and, and stuff uh, uh, from just problems associated with commercial diets. And we started telling our friends, we started telling our family, we started doing more research. And we realized that this is an opportunity to help people improve the lives of their dogs. It is a lot of work. And we realize that there's an opportunity here for, for us to turn it into a business where we can provide a service to other people who would like their dogs to be happier, healthier, more energetic, and provide that service for them. Next thing you know, uh... We found a little area in uh, Winter Park, tiny little 800 square foot old house, not designed for any type of food production whatsoever, uh, but it was next to a groomer and a vet. So we're like, well, you know, this might be a good little location to try to figure out if this is gonna work or not. So when we moved to Orlando, we, we looked into it and opened up the, the shop with two small roasting pans and a dream. And it has turned into what it is today over 10 years where we feed hundreds and hundreds of dogs every month. And the feedback that you can see online and, and, and from our clientele is that we are providing a, a tremendous service and that the dogs are happier, healthier. A lot of our clients are here because their dogs have health issues and we're here to help solve the health issues. Mm -hmm.